Pelicans are still robbers. Usually, they really feed on fish, which they elegantly catch on the fly in their huge beaks, scooping up water. And in this way, a pelican can even catch a shark. But also, the bird will be happy to have a snack, for example, a gaping pigeon. Apparently, close communication with the main coastal gangsters, that is seagulls, has done its job. Pelicans got bad and started robbing, but this bird was clearly mistaken in the choice of prey. Do you know what this capybara had to do to escape from the feathered aggressor? Absolutely nothing. The pelican approached its imaginary victim several times, but could not do any damage to it. It couldn't even lift it. By the way, if you want to learn more about these charismatic animals with nerves of steel, then write about it in the comments. It seems that the rodent looks at the pelican as if it were garbage. The bird's attacks were nothing more than a light massage for this well-fed and cute animal. Now the pelican will be tormented by complexes. His opinion of himself as a formidable predator was simply trampled. Any boxer will confirm that timing is very important in a fight. That is, choosing the right moment to strike. While well, this turtle is doing great with timing. When a horse shows unhealthy curiosity, the reptile goes on the defensive, and then at the only appropriate moment strikes. That is, a bite with a sharp beak. Neither a large dog running to the noise, nor the continuation of the horse's attack produces any effect on the turtle. But when she counterattacks, her lightning strike causes panic in the animals dozens of times larger. Just look at the panic this reptile has brought its rivals to. It seems that we have finally found a fighter for whom the difference in size is not an obstacle to worry. I wonder if this turtle could bring an elephant to a heart attack? What do you think? Answer in the comments. Never approach a horse from behind. This can threaten the most unpleasant consequences. Don't you believe it? Then learn from the mistakes of others. The lion has decided to ignore this lesson and received a double blow with her hooves right in the jaw. Instead of lunch, her hunt ended with a knockout. How dramatically she fell. The powerful blow of the zebra just turned off the predatory cat. To be in the jaws of a crocodile for most animals is a terrible end. For this turtle, here she resembles a girl on a bad date. She's just waiting for it to be over, and he'll get the hell out of there, and she can enjoy the dinner she ordered. The crocodile clearly did not impress her. He is not capable of swallowing such a large turtle whole. And although the compression force of his jaws is huge, and the shell easily withstands all his onslaught, it seems that the turtle leaves even with a kind of contempt. What, Jack, is that all you're capable of? I expected more. The crocodile is also in shock. His jaws didn't let him down before, but what was it Stark said? Sometimes it happens. Once out of five, right? In general, it is better not to mess with turtles. They are often underestimated by other animals. But it seems that the myth of their slowness is nothing more than a competent strategic move. They simply lulled the vigilance of potential victims. Like this pigeon, which did not expect a lightning-fast reptile throw. As a result, the turtle caught a bird for lunch. In general, it turns out that the turtle is one of the toughest fighters in the world of wildlife, who are regularly underestimated. This duck was swimming with the chickens when a carnivorous turtle decided to attack one of them. An adult bird immediately stood up for the baby, and this is quite natural but she made a mistake when she ran into a turtle in a frontal attack. Although the reptile is much smaller, its beak turns out to be so strong that the turtle immediately grabs the opponent and shakes it like a rag. The baby was able to escape because the turtle switched to his mom. Drowning a duck is a very difficult idea to implement, but the turtle turned out to be a stubborn and cruel one. She shook the bird and did not let it go for so long that the duck ran out of strength. 
and she could not oppose anything to such a protected opponent. The bird probably survived and was able to reunite with his family. But she will remember this fight forever. Turtles are avid fans of fighting. This reptile is not trying to eat the dog. There was too much difference in size. A turtle doesn't hunt a huge snake. She just sees someone who annoys her and rushes into battle. It seems that these reptiles can sometimes forget even about hunger and throw food in order only to teach the enemy a lesson. They say that a samurai has no goal, only a path. Oddly enough, this is just about a turtle. If you think that her shell is needed in order to calmly wait out the danger, sit out, and then go about your business, then you are mistaken. Apparently, the turtle feels his impunity thanks to the armor. Therefore, he goes to attack cows. But for a turtle, these ungulates are like Godzilla for you. And nothing, the reptile does not show a drop of fear. Or maybe she's just an evil creature. But in any case, her fighting fuse is respected. Although the turtle doesn't have long fangs, its beak is as powerful as a war hammer. Even the lion is shocked by the impudence of the turtle, which was the first to attack him. This seems fantastic, but the turtle, furious with its pressure, drove away a huge lion from the water, which is 200 times heavier. Hopefully, after what you've seen, you won't accuse the Beast King of cowardice. Perhaps some of his battle scars are not the claws of other lions, but the teeth of such small monsters. There was no need to underestimate this Wu Wei. Do you remember what happened to Tai Lung? It seems that the creators of that cartoon understand zoology much better than it seems at first glance. By the way, about Kung Fu. Which style is cooler, tiger or crane? If you were on the side of striped cats, then we have a surprise for you. The feathered creature turned out to be a really cool fighter. Clearly, Chinese masters were inspired by such episodes when they created their martial art. At first, the bird tried to retreat because it wanted peace and harmony. But if the opponent does not share these values, he can be punched in the face. Iron logic, which allowed the crane to survive and even feel quite comfortable in the same enclosure with two adult tigers. Flapping blows with huge wings cannot cause serious damage to predators that weigh a quarter of a ton each. But they distract so that the crane can deliver a powerful blow with its beak directly to the head, like a sword. Makakes only seem like cute harmless beggars. These primates will fight fiercer for their food than wolves. Here is a fairly large dog decided that he could take away a tasty morsel with a small makake. He underestimated her greed and the team spirit of the pack. Among themselves, these animals will fight for every piece, but if an external threat appears, they will attack it all together. So the dog had to fight off several makakes at the same time. The dog is well done he was able to escape from the encirclement of enemies whole and alive. This is already an achievement, but he will not underestimate the enemy so much anymore. When the lioness attacked the antelope calf, she swiftly knocked it down within a second. However, the mother intervened, giving an unexpected resistance and delivering a kick comparable to that of a multi-ton rhinoceros. The competition between bears and wolves in the wild makes them true enemies. They often attack each other to steal prey, even if it risks serious injuries and life-threatening situations. Expelling a predator of another kind, such as a wolf or a bear, from their territory means that both the bear and the wolf will have more prey. And bears are incredibly strong, and there are many wolves, so their rivalry usually occurs on almost equal terms. But not in this case. Here the she-bear found herself surrounded by a whole pack of wolves. Take note, the female is much smaller than the male, and although she surpasses the wolf, she doesn't appear as a giant compared to him. 
Nevertheless, her rage would be enough for several seasoned males. It's all because her cubs are nearby. The bear cubs are no longer helpless bundles of fur, but against the wolves, they are absolutely defenseless. Therefore, the female bravely protects them and easily scatters the wolves. The intelligent gray predators encircle the bear family, tighten the ring, and attempt to separate the she-bear from the cubs so that while the mother is busy fighting one or two wolves, the others could attack the cubs. But the she-bear acts way too quickly for them. Wolves surely don't expect such reaction speed from a heavier predator. Wolves are also very devoted parents. This she-wolf guards the pups, who are nestled in the depths of the den, resting peacefully behind their mother. The wolf's den is a place where it rules supreme. To see how other members of the same pack are forced to submit to the she-wolf who protects her offspring. She's ready to go to the throat of anyone. It's not worth disturbing such a loyal mother any further. Childbirth is a challenging trial for any living being. But this mare, right after giving birth to a foal, didn't have a second to recover or get acquainted with her little one at all. Instead, the horse had to recall lessons in self-defense and protect the newborn foal from an enraged stallion. The huge and brutal male simply wanted to trample the little one to mate with the mare when she goes into heat again. Is that cruel? Certainly. But horses are not the most gentle animals. Fortunately, the mare possessed no less aggression than the stallion. And way greater motivation. Almost immediately after giving birth, she managed to resist the larger aggressive animal, saving her offspring. To achieve this, she used all her capabilities, pushed the aggressor away with a powerful blow, fiercely stood her ground, and was ready to sink her teeth into his throat. It's worth noting that the horse that came to help also made an effort to protect the foal. Probably it's the foal's father. The little one was indeed protected. The first day of his life turned out to be tense, but one can hope that now no one will dare to mess with him. His mother taught the aggressor a pretty good lesson. Leopards predominantly lead a solitary lifestyle and form pairs only during the mating season. Afterwards, the female raises the cubs independently. This male not only intruded into the female's territory, but also approached her den too closely. The cubs are waiting for their mother there. He is not their father, and thus the male poses a serious threat to them. Perhaps he would want to quietly get rid of them to mate with the female and become her the father of her future offspring. However, the cunning plan of the male failed. The female noticed the male at the last moment and sprinted to intercept. She managed to attack the larger leopard before he could do anything irreversible to her. The mother's fury was immense. Male leopards are approximately 20% larger than females. Think that's not very much? Then imagine a heavyweight boxer facing a lightweight boxer. Can you guess the result? Well, can you? Here, the female endured a series of fierce blows. But maternal love multiplies her strength. Just look how this cat bravely defends her den with the cubs. The male already regrets daring to approach these little ones right here. The female fought him with all four paws, lying on her back, grabbing with claws, pulling towards the face to bite the throat. Having received such a strong resistance, the leopard retreats from the courageous mother who saved her cubs. The mother's battle for the survival of her offspring is simply astounding in its intensity and drama. Adult giraffes rarely fall victim to predators due to their enormous size. Although they could theoretically reach a third floor window, a giraffe's weight is not that substantial. So an entire lion pride, with the support of males, can bring it down. However, a loaned female doesn't stand a chance, and that's why the cunning predator attacks a very young giraffe. The lioness managed to drive away most of the giraffe family, and only the mother bravely stands guard over her cub. However, there's a problem. The lioness found the perfect hunting ground. It has narrow and very steep crevices, holes, and gaps. 
and they are covered with vegetation and surround the giraffe female and her cub. It seems like they suddenly vanish underground. But in reality, the lioness skillfully frightened the giraffe cub, causing it to stumble and fall into a deep and narrow crevice in the ground. The mother can't descend due to her excessively long legs. The cub is in shock. It hits the ground hard. In such a state, the cub is utterly helpless against the lioness. The predator effortlessly attacks and knocks it down in a place inaccessible to the cub's mother. The lioness grips the giraffe's throat and drags it away from the camera as if trying to conceal the consequences of her actions. Nevertheless, finishing off the cub there, in the narrow part of the pit, is inconvenient for the lioness. She seizes its throat and drags it to a broader location. Apparently, the predatory cat thinks the cub's mother has long gone. Indeed, this confrontation lasted a very long time, and the chances that the cub is still alive were minimal. But the lioness underestimated the devotion of the giraffe mother to her offspring. It turns out that she had been lying in wait for the lioness all this time. When the predatory cat dragged the cub to a spot where the adult giraffe could fit, the female immediately came to the cub's aid. Just look, the cub is breathing and blinking. It's in shock, in pain, but alive. Apparently, the lioness didn't have time to crush its trachea or rupture any major blood vessels. That's what saved it. As well as the mother's loyalty, of course. The female fiercely lunged at the lioness, easily driving her away, and then took her offspring under her protection. This reunion gave the cub strength. It managed to stand up, even. An incredibly touching scene of rescue, where everything ended well, not only due to strength, but also patience and a belief in the best. The cheetah is about half the size of the lioness. When faced with such a competitor, the fastest runner on the planet has only one option, to retreat using all its super speed. But this time, the lioness confronts not a lone cheetah, but a mother and her cub. The larger predatory cat aims to eliminate the competitor and swiftly attacks the teenage cheetah cub. The female cheetah could easily hide, but instead she gives the lioness an astonishing resistance to protect her offspring. For the sake of her cub's defense, she draws the blow from the larger predator and even seems to be hunting the lioness herself. The lioness is shocked. For a moment, she felt like the antelope. The cheetah stands no chance in a confrontation with such a powerful opponent. However, the momentum is disrupted. The lioness loses speed, and the cub manages to break free from the trap and escape. The mother was ready to sacrifice herself for this survival, but fortunately, it wasn't necessary. She manages to slip away from the lioness's grip at the last moment and runs away, presumably in the direction of her cub's escape. Let's just hope the female finds her cub, and they move far away from the lion's territory. Lions are also excellent parents. Typically, all members of the tribe take care of the cubs, but especially the mother and father. In this rare case, the lioness displayed insufficient tenderness towards her nieces and nephews. A significant mistake. She didn't need to quarrel with their mother. The aggressive cat attacked the bold lioness and gave her a good thrashing to teach her a lesson. Only she has the right to raise her cubs. However, the primary threat to lion cubs comes not from outsider lionesses, but from the males. In general, lions are great and gentle fathers. They love playing with the cubs and to never use force against them. However, this behavior applies only to their own offspring. When a new lion takes over a pride, he seeks out and eliminates all the cubs of the previous leader. This is the only way for him to establish dominance. Lionesses sometimes try to exist, but the invader acts selectively, targeting dens where there are either no lionesses or just one. Since the male is about twice the size of the female, she cannot protect her offspring alone. But here's a completely different situation. The conqueror miscalculated and encountered lionesses who were collectively defending their cubs. Dealing with these enraged mothers is a big mistake. 
The male is very powerful, but the lioness's fury makes him falter and retreat. Three lionesses immediately launch an attack on the lone male. The intimidating sound of their roars echoes across the savanna as the heavyweight lionesses exchange devastating blows. Then the remaining lionesses join the brawl. The lion can't resist. They surround and overpower him. Whenever he tries to counterattack, one of the lionesses attacks him from behind. He must retreat now. The lion cubs are safe. Hopefully this remains the case. Lionesses can't constantly guard the cubs. Either their father will return to protect the cubs while the lionesses hunt, or they'll have to deal with this male while they still have numerical superiority. 